All right. So this is the Rome Rochester Organization of Artists and Musicians podcast. I'm Nathan James Davenport. Oh, hi, guys. I'm Baja. Nice to see you guys again. What's up? And our guest today is Dusty West. How are you doing, Dusty? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, That's probably actually how I'm doing, too. Hi. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, oh, wait. We shouldn't talk about that. It'll be on the internet. <laughs> well, I didn't say anything except that I'm high. Hi. <laughs> um, it is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. We won't tell you which Saturday afternoon, just in case we get... Uh, side tra- Actually, you'll figure it out by our topic matter. What is it? It's like April 4th. Cool. It's April 4th. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about some music today. Um, I, and I guess and I guess I want to start with, with the star of the show today, Mr. Mr. D. Weasley, Dusty West himself. D. Weasley? D. Weasley. Um, I said that to uh, Aaron. D. Um, Weasley. Aaron, Aaron uh, the beautiful proprietor of California Brew, Brew House. Um, and she wasn't sure what D. Weasley meant. D. And Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> this is D. Weasley in the house. Oh, man. Everyone in the back, come up. You know, I bet you can get on DKX. Um, if with it, my, with, with D. Weasley, Weasley in the morning. Yeah. D. Weasley. <laughs> Actually, their morning show is pretty crazy on DKX. D. Weasley in the morning. D. Weasley and the boys. You guys, I guess you're you're on the show too now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be a boys. One of you is homeless. Homeless? Well, we're at my place. So. Homeless Baja. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, what's the name of that guy that tells jokes at shows? Um, he's at the vineyard John all Adams? the time. No, no, the homeless guy <laughs> yeah, that, that tells jokes at shows. Jokes? That's yeah, his name. Yeah, is jokes. He- Oh, his name is just jokes. Yeah, uh, he has that sort the, of that, the, the dude the, that tells extremely like it's a really appropriate name. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, sweet. Now that we figured that out, <laughs> um, let's talk about uh, Dusty West's current um, big deal project. At least the band that I got to know Dusty West being in uh, Anchorage, Nebraska. Um, for those of you that don't know, it is uh, what they would call a grunge band. Um, you would call it, you know, grunge a little bit like slowed down punk. There's a band named Nirvana. They were kind of the, 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 the spearheading that thing. Um, but it, I, I heard this new single named Wolf. Have you seen the video yet, Nate? For for Wolf, the, the, no, the new Anchorage, Nebraska single. No, I have, I have not seen this. Um, Can we play it? Yeah, I, I think we should play it. Um, I think you should see what's going on. Maybe we'll do that during a break or something like okay, that. Okay, definitely. Um, it's magnificent. It has great counterpoint. Um, you can really, really see, you know, uh, Phil and and Jacoby. And was Nitro there too in the video? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> and just and just how cool they keep when when raw when raw I mean when raw grunge happens, right? It, it's I I don't have words for it. Um, <laughs> I, I like it a lot. Uh, it, it Thank was you, great. Baha. Um, where did the idea and the did did you like storyboard it out? I mean, it's a pretty simple idea, but where did the Hey, it would be cool if I just got up in front of everybody and wild out. <laughs> it was actually that almost the exact same sentence, but Phil said it to me in the studio. He was like, "Dude, we should just be hanging out at the space, and you just bust in, like you know, like they were just hanging out normal. <laughs> I just entered into the scene, and then the song happens, you know. And uh, so we we did like, I was like, "All right, that actually sounds hilarious." So we did, we got it together, and then we. <laughs> We're like, we're going to do this. So we practiced twice, I think. And then we shot the third time. And that was it. <laughs> One take. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, no, it's... Everybody go out. It's on It's on this um, website called YouTube. Uh, look up Anchorage, Nebraska. Um, they have Wolf? a ton of stuff. Yeah. Wolf. Wolf in particular. But look at all their other stuff, too. They have a handful of videos. One where they're on... on, on what is that? Uh, what beach is that particularly where um was that quit the band or uh that would be ain't that bad okay and um that's on our beach was it shallot beach yeah Yeah, and that's not really a beach i just want the world to know (laughs) it's sand (laughs) with water i mean it has sand there's water it's like early on we we wanted a beach so we put sand there and there it is didn't they find like a body buried underneath there over the summer or something like that uh, it was like on Durand uh, section. <laughs> hmm. um, maybe it wasn't buried, just a dead body out there. 
Um, my apologies if that's false. Are you making a sandcastle? No, I'm burying a dead body. <laughs> that would be the perfect thing, too, to like bury a dead body under because nobody wants to knock down a sandcastle except for complete cocks. And then <laughs> when those cocks knock over the sandcastle, I mean, it sucks to be them. That's what they get for being cocks and knocking over a sandcastle, changing their lives, stumbling onto a corpse. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> How come people in like the desert never came up with building sandcastles? I I think it is like to live in. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, and like blast it with fire so it becomes like a glass castle in the desert. <laughs> this there you go. This needs to be a sci-fi movie right here, like Dune <laughs> Part Eight. Um, they all build glass sandcastles and those flamethrowers and all that shit. <laughs> and there's flamethrowers. Um, Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. flamethrowers. Flame so, you know, throwers. blast the sand castles into glass. <laughs> Finally makes castles. sense. Uh, glass castles. Glass castles. Those um, who live in glass that castles be the next should Anchorage not throw single? glass castles. Glass castles. Glass castles. <laughs> it's a yeah. new album. Um, so so I, I, I know that you're, well. No, Gla- talk, talk to me. It, glass it, castles is the new all-girl band I'm going to be in. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll be out in a year, though. So. <laughs> uh, are we allowed to talk about where no, the surgery gets not. paid from? Or, um, no, that that's that's tongue in cheek. You get kicked off the off the regular radio for talking about that. Um, but Anchorage, Nebraska, um, and you're releasing a a full album, I hear, coming up in the works. Is that is that what the yep. uh, diggity is? We're almost done. And let's see. We got like eight songs, so we got four to go or something like that. All right, it'll be out for West Fest. So, um, th- tell me about the uh, Anchorage, Nebraska uh, songwriting process in general. Um, it's pretty easy. I write the songs and then I bring them to the band. <laughs> um. <laughs> So so we just had a technical <laughs> difficulty. We had this great conversation <laughs> about how. Uh, <laughs> no, no, essentially, to- that's that's what you do, right? <laughs> Fine. Nix that question. Um, and anything bad doesn't when, get cut. When were these songs <laughs> written? Uh, <laughs> well, on this new album, what's really interesting is like most of these songs have been uh, worked on for years. And uh, I'm not, I'm not, no, that doesn't mean that they're really good now. <laughs> it's just things that we've, we've kind of worked on as a band more so than maybe ever before, like Anchor's material. So these are like songs that are, are, have been worked at rehearsals, you know, so we knew what kind of sounds cool and everything going to this album a little more than maybe than ever. So there's probably a little more band collaboration and I think there's a truer sound to Anchorage on this album than ever before. I think it's less songwriter than and and more of a band, you know, image will come out. On the album. <laughs> Condenser microphones on the album. Um we'll just fix that in post, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is it fuzzy? We're loose. Oh gosh. Hello. Hello. Oh, I made it. Yay. Um, what's our time marker? I saw 12 minutes. Then yeah. include that intro. So we're going to just take a break for a second, play some tunes from the Eat Here uh, roster. Oh, in case you didn't know, I for, for those of you that don't know the celebrity of Dusty West who is in charge of this, uh, well, he is still technically in charge of this record um, project called Eat Here Records. Um, it still I, I've worked... Um, I've worked with it before, and I am. They release good tunes, so yeah. yeah so here's at least some the music's good, at least. <laughs> <laughs> here's some eat here tunes. <laughs>
It was just the other day And you said that you were fine I guess it didn't occur to me That you were just telling lies And waited for the time not best So we could meet up after class Talking about that crazy shit And all the times we almost quit Just watched the um, Wolf video for Anchorage, Nebraska. It's a really, wolf. really cool video there. I, I, I actually dig that tune a lot. I'm a wolf. So we're getting excited to hear what's coming up next for Anchorage. The bridge in that song is my favorite part. Thank you. Um, the the green hue change uh, really uh. had that. Really <laughs> had that. Did somebody put acid in the bottom of my soda? <laughs> Vibe to it. Um, yeah, the video. No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. It's, that's not like that. Oh, man. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if we're drinking Genesee beer here on set? And by on set, I mean in the in our living room. Um, <laughs> we're drinking Genesee beer. Wouldn't it be crazy if there's just a, whoop, one little drop LSD in the bottom of every Jenny? Um, <laughs> and then we recorded it. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So, Speaking uh, of crazy shit. Crazy shit. So there's this <laughs> there's this guy. Gotta love it. I'm such a dick. I say things so matter of fact. Uh, Blink-182, the guitarist, Tom DeLonge. The guy I thought that, this was a local show. Oh, the fucking A. I want to talk about this really neat thing. <laughs> local people care about this outside Rochester bullshit. I mean, uh, oh. <laughs> whatever. We can talk about local stuff in a minute. I just want to say <laughs> that I saw the new Tom DeLonge music video after um, he left Blink-182 because, I don't know, it sounds all very drama-y. I don't care. I was kind of looking forward to another Blink album. but Is he the one responsible for the, what was that, Airwaves band? Yeah, or? Angels and, well, the fucking thing he is. He sure is, is responsible What's the name for of the band? Angels, Angels and, and Airwaves. Airwaves. What the heck? That what it is? That was horrible. What it is is that and Tom DeLonge and the movie Love that he came out for it too. Oh, the movie Love. Yep. 
Is it's, it about what's it about? Well, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember? I watched it, and there's literally no plot. It's just him, and, like not him, but the character flying through space and going into That's weird adventures. That's kind of like love, though. There's no plot in love. You're right, Dusty. Just happens, and that's and that's what he was getting at. That's what he was getting. At. <laughs> he did it. Dusty, so Dusty figured it out. Go I back to the year. <laughs> Go back to the year 1999 when you cracked open Enema of the State for the first time. Mm. Wasn't that when it was released? 97. I don't give a fuck. Um, you know that song "Aliens Exist." Yeah. Tom DeLonge actually believes aliens exist. Um, his uh, apparently his royalty check from take off your pants and jacket went to special x-ray vision <laughs> ufo seeking goggles hmm. um like, what 20 and so apparently this is part of the contention as to why he left you know the 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 punk rock empire the successful punk rock oxymoron of blink 182 we're using quotations right now yeah yeah um <laughs> yeah it's three chord songs but but so that he has this new video um where he's alone in a room just breaking gear and and the guy is smashing fender squires he's not taking valuable instruments and destroying them in a state of rebellion he's taking cheap instruments that fit on a budget to go hey guys remember what the who and uh, kurt cobain did um on with, stage no not on stage he was in just room, recorded in himself. a room smashing a fender squire against just random bullshit he destroyed a macbook pro i was pretty happy about that but yeah um Shoved uh, through the grill of a cab. Fender Squires should be smashed, though. <laughs> um, I guess is it because of aliens, though? Is that why? Because it, of aliens? The song is called New World, but it wasn't a whole new world, so I'm not sure a if it's partially new a new world. world. The tune's pretty good. Tom DeLonge stopped singing. Hello there, the angel of my nightmare. <laughs> Hello there. No, he, he, he has... I Lower there was an manlier here. tones in his voice. It sounds pretty good, um, but yeah, I don't know. He, um, I also read in this article that he's proposed to write four albums this year and release fifteen novels. Mm. Is that possible? Mm. Could Phil Tharp release four albums and fifteen <laughs> novels in a year? Isaac Asimov could. Isaac Asimov. Okay, so there's Isaac Asimov. I think Phil Tharp could do that too. Does Tom DeLonge make the list of somebody that could do four albums and fifteen novels? Zappa. Zappa could do that much in a year. He could definitely do four albums because, let's face it, <laughs> anybody could write that. <laughs> now, 15 novels, though, I don't know. Maybe novellas? I mean, what what does it take to be a novel? Is there like an actual <laughs> dis- dictionary definition of it? Does it have to be like 200 pages and 12-point font? Or like, is there a word count minimum? Where's the short story novel breaking point? <laughs> it's double Blog sp- post count? It's double-spaced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love the the first time I saw Harry Potter in the in the whatever the fourth book was that was like 800 pages I don't know I was still in high school so I looked at that and I was like is that that's like War and Peace sized what the kids don't want to read that bullshit yo War and Peace you can't read War and Peace that is hard to get through has anybody ever gotten through that I have a buddy that did Actually, the guy that wrote nope. the badass song for Sexy Teenagers, um, he didn't write it for Sexy yeah, Teenagers. Yeah, and where is the, he now, though? He's <laughs> <laughs> living above a laundromat. <laughs> War and peace. Um, <laughs> his name's John Kazi. Um, look him up on the internet. There's pictures of him drinking beer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, will do. There's a picture of him <laughs> drinking beer. If, uh, pictures, if you Google pictures. It, if you Google it and go to images, <laughs> it's just him drinking beers. What, one of my favorite people in my life. He he's a guy that taught me how to play guitar while he played drums. He I yeah. So John Cosby, shout out on the uh, on the Rome podcast. He's like <laughs> he's like Duff Man from the Simpsons. <laughs> oh no. Um. How about this, Dusty? I see you talking about gear on the internet a lot. Yeah. What 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 gear do you want? What gear is in the future? What gear do you have? I want to know interesting stuff about guitars and amps and effects pedals. Yeah. You know, symbols to I've talk been, at me. A couple things you might have used on this new record, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling epically geeky about gear lately. Please totally. geek out. I know it's so interesting. Well. They've been doing a lot of big muff experimentation. 
Like, uh, there's a lot of big muff pedals that are awesome. So, now, what, which muff? So are we it's talking? It's always a big debate on which one's the best one, you know? And they're all kind of awesome. So. I, I'm a fan of the Russian muff, personally. Yeah. Uh, the I, black I, case with the yellow tux. Uh, I'm way into it. I, um, what muff did you use? Well, I just used one of the cheapy $50 ones. Uh, one of the uh, New York Electro Harmonics. What is the big silver one? Is it the one that was on an angle or just the one with the rounded edges? Angle. Angle. That's the that's the Big Muff USA. That that was popular in the early two thousands to mid two thousands. Yeah, it's um, pretty it's pretty popular. They they were small. They made the made the yeah, case. We've small. been doing a lot of uh, I, one of those songs recently we did for Lovesick. We we did kind of like a wall of sound thing. Me and Phil. So we had like. Oh, I I think I saw. Yeah, post we, a picture of that. We on had Instagram? a bunch of amps going at once, and like I don't know, they were getting really cool tones. You just want to mix a whole bunch of different cool amps together. Oh yeah, you know? definitely. And then and then it's your own amp, and then people will always ask you how you got that sound. It's like you barely know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. We stuck everything together. Put some mics up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I don't know. I got this T60 guitar. I'm really excited about that. That PV with the maple neck. Yeah, that that's a dope looking guitar. Was Dude, that 80s? If you 80s look into PVT 60s, they're like really cool and really interesting. And I didn't think they were gonna be that cool, but they are. It's that what what is it? What what, what do we call that as guitarists? Ugly yellow, like that that Telecaster right there. That's that's an the the ugly yellow. Or is yours a little more? Uh yeah, mine does not look like that. Oh okay okay. Mine <laughs> has more of a natural um dark tone wood okay. fin- wood finish style okay. thing. Um, apparently the story behind that color, ugly yellow, is that it looks really, really good on For those who cannot TV. see, we are looking <laughs> oh, yeah. at um, So you know the... that color of Telecaster that's like <laughs> that creamy, blonde yellow? <laughs> if, if, you've, if you know about Telecasters, you know about this color. Um, but it's apparently the story behind it is that it looks really good on black and white TV. But in color, it looks like mm. mustard puke. What would it look like on black and white TV? White? Yeah. Yeah, but it would be it just like a it little gray. Like a green tone to it. Like, like, would you play with it? Or maybe, yeah, maybe it's like green. So. <laughs> um, wow. All right. I don't know. I, I, yellow guitars are a, a weird thing. Yeah, I like them. I did not know that little factoid there, though. That's pretty interesting. I, I mean, I got some. If, if anybody wants to borrow a book about random guitar bullshit, I got. Blah. Yeah, no, I was like, um, so talk to me about amps, oh, yeah. Dusty. That does look cool, dude. What, what amplifiers have been in and out of your life of recently? You know, amplifiers are sort of like. Well, I got a Vox tube head, which was exciting for me. Nice. And that sounds beautiful. And then, um, what have I been shopping for? Maybe some Fender Basement heads, which I'm really into right now. I'd like to get a, a little older basement head, and then everything else is out of my price range. So, have you have you seen Mike's Brown basement that he found in a uh, in a cow pasture? Um, yeah, dude. Well, the stuff that Mike Brown has is ridiculous. I don't know. I I've never asked He's Mike got Brown a about barn the price full of amazing about stuff. his beautiful instrument. It's such a church. It's not even a barn. Dude, it's every time he church. posts something, I'm like, dude, can I just come over? It went on air for three does, seconds. Does he have stuff online? There's no, I wouldn't even have it. Music? Yeah. Mike Brown? Probably. I, I've never looked he, for I it. I think he has an entire website. Wait a minute. Here. I'll just we could, go uh, on the internet take a break quick. and uh, maybe I'll take a break from the here stuff and play some yeah. Mike Brown stuff. Mike Brown. Mike Brown. Because he Brown. is excellent. Mike, Mike Brown. Brown. He plays with everybody, too, except for me. He, yep. He's played with sexy teenagers. <laughs> he hasn't played with you? He's no. played on stage with sexy teenagers Try a few times. Try to get times. him on uh, some of the upcoming Anchorage stuff. That'd be sweet. That would be slide, sweet. Some slide guitar. I don't know if you're into that. Love slide guitar. Who can't resist a slide guitar? It's like un-American, really. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, all sl- right. <laughs> Rome Podcast. Listen some music. Fuck your All face. Right. Oh. <laughs> Fuck your face. Is it down?
Coming up for shows, Baja. Oh, we're going to talk about the calendar now? Okay. Um, give me a second here. i got to <laughs> twist my neck around here on the laptop. The um, so it's the 4th. Let's see. Uh, i got a, like a bunch of websites open here. Here, I know that nobody's going to fucking... Um, 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's there's a Nirvana cover band tonight. Uh, uh, what is that? Nameless. Endless. Nameless. Endless. Nameless. Is that is that a Nirvana reference, Dusty? I don't know anything about Nirvana. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, great Nirvana tribute band. Lupus is playing. Um, oh, there, Lupus is a Mud Honey tribute band now. I love Lupus. All right. And then Bikini Cool, Fox 45 tribute band. Members of Fox 45. Okay. Me- um, members Bug of Fox is closed 45. on Easter Sunday for Easter Sunday. Go spend time with your families. Do wonderful stuff. Or just go to Lux and get wasted. The two best things to do right there. Uh, uh, yeah, if just, Easter Sunday was already coming up, but since oh yeah, it's yeah, past, Easter Sunday's in the past. I hope you got drunk <laughs> or spent time with your family. Yeah, or yesterday, talking, talking about shows that already happened now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of bullshit happening. Let Let's go to like, how about Monday the seventh? Monday, yes. April seventh. There's this organization named Rome. Um, I guess I shouldn't be sarcastic about this. Hey, this is the Rome podcast, and. <laughs> Um, we do an open mic at this beautiful little place in Bushnell's Basin called the Mellow Mug. Uh, Nate, would you care to elaborate while I take care of something? <laughs> yes, we have started hosting a weekly open mic at the Mellow Mug in uh, Bushnell's Basin. Is it, was it bi weekly? Bi weekly, sorry. Bi weekly open mic. At the Mellow Mug. So if you're a singer, songwriter, poet, uh, any sort of musician, come out and hang out with us. I believe it is at 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's, it's, well, we're doing, we're doing an art show, and too. And that's Tuesday. And, 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 and featuring artists Aaron Scorse. Um, okay. Yeah, Aaron I did Scorse see is that. actually in the room with us. Of course. Lovely proprietor of the <laughs> California Brew House. The I, Brew House. I went to the Brew House last night. It was great. I went there as well. I saw zero signal um, with the man Brock Fra- Thrasher uh, in charge. Um, he puts on a good stage show. Actually, everybody, uh, go check out. Let me make sure I get the website right. Um, wow, this is really organized. <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 hey. I just thought about this. But um, I'm just trying to see. Check out things that are online. No, there's this place called the Pillar Opening Up. And <laughs> it's www. a Google.com. Oi, oi. Um, I just need to find out where this Kickstarter page is. It's not even Kickstarter. It's GoFundMe. So, Come on. <laughs> this yeah. is a not, non-advertising no, podcast. No, I'll fucking advertise. This is my fucking <laughs> shit. I will advertise as much as I want. That that's the thing. Um, is any, if you're doing anything locally, we are going to oh, yeah. do promotions for you on our podcast. I will promote for you in a heartbeat. Don't think for a second <laughs> that I can't be bought for twenty dollars um, an hour. I'll let you hang out with me. Can you advertise right. it? All right. So on anybody Go- wants to hang out with Dusty West, it's Dusty twenty dollars an hour. Cheap. Twenty bucks an hour. Cheap. I mean, come on. Will you give me a hand job? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not as great as Andrew WK, but he's like a thousand dollars an hour. So he is. Probably. I I mean, I would I would hit up Andrew WK for that. Okay, but more importantly. <laughs> um, it's a fast for hour, though. Our, our friend Brock Thrasher, the front man of Zero Signal, um, he is opening up a community space. An uh, all-ages venue. Named The Pillar. Um, with a little bit of a ch- – it's going to be a church in there, too, but but a more yeah. youth-orientated church. or not the type of church where we, you know, hate people for fun, but, you know, the type of church where you, where you get to go and be happy with other individuals and celebrate life. Isn't that a novel idea? And a I wish place religion for, was like that young for everybody. youth to go watch some really rad local bands and drink sodas and yeah. stay out of trouble. Yeah. So, well, no, <laughs> seriously, I, I don't know if you know what it's like to be 15 and having the options of uh, getting wasted and listening to music or nothing, but... You know, sometimes you just want to listen to music and not get wasted and not get your ass in trouble. And this is what the pillar is going to be for. Straight um, edge. No, I, 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 I hopefully believe in it. It's going to be a community space and make sure that the younger musicians coming up get to meet some Something of the older Rochester musicians that definitely needs know what's up. an all-ages location. Um, but yeah, GoFundMe.com. Down there. Look you up renovating the will. new pillar space. They're trying to raise ten grand to uh, make this a working venue that doesn't cost people. It doesn't cost uh, patrons. What's the money. link? Um, GoFundMe.com backslash. Get out your pencils, boys and girls. This is a beast. We're starting <laughs> with Q. 
D four N T W. One more time, GoFundMe.com backslash. Get out your pencils. Q D four N T W. Um, or just find it on the internet. We'll post a link to it. Try to promote it because the success of this community space is going to be the success of all of us. Make sure you type in, get out your pencils. (laughs) Q. (laughs) But that's what it's all about right there. Um, Collaboration, working on something great for our community. And it doesn't, and it doesn't hurt to get some experience. All right. May 6th. Actually, this is a Sunday. Um, yeah, May's, oh wait, May's, it's May, May's fucking later. We'll put May 6th later. A- I have April 17th as our next Vanity day. Strikes. Vanity Strikes? The tour kickoff. The tour kickoff for Vanity Strikes. Broken Mind Spoken, play with those guys a couple times, they're pretty cool. Um, From the Skies, I can't say I know them, and I'm not sure what city oh, they're I from. Got Montage, one. give me, give me what, what city, uh, this is at the Montage Music Hall, give me what city these guys are from. Um, Vanity Strikes. Well, without regret, Sativa. I know Sativa. Yeah, yeah Sativa. Sativa. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sativa tattooed Lisa. Um, the entire band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of our bands. Very unique tattoo. But that's going on April seventeenth. Uh, at, at Montage. Um, let's see some more Bug Jar shows. I got, I got one. Go I ahead, one. Dusty. What do you got? Yeah. I got April tenth, and Shalako's playing at. The Bug Jar. And with Danger Troll, who is sweet. Danger Troll's awesome. I like Pink that. Elephant. Pink Elephant's cool. Pink Elephant is great. Big Business. I don't know who that is. Uh, I see Sulaco and Lambly and Planet Assassin. Too. How much is the uh, Pink Elephant show? Pink How Elephant, much Big is Business. The pink Elephant, Big um, Business. Well, Sulaco is playing, so it's, it's, More? It's, it's, it's a good deal no matter what. Yes. Uh, $10 Just pre-sale Just go regardless tickets. of price. Hit up your local bands and buy sound, their pre-sale tickets. Everybody like buy pre-sale tickets. Lit, Help lit, a brother lit. out. What? Did we lose our shit? No, no we're good. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> buy pre-sale tickets. Or it'll be $12 at the door, and who wants to pay an extra 2 bucks? Um, big business. Oh, they're from the Los Angeles, California. God damn. Um, I didn't know that. They're fancy. Well, that makes sense. Big business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm seeing. Got them. I'm seeing another show on April 7th. Uh, Shauna Flanna with Buffalo Sex Change and Buffalo Cantaloupe. Sex Change. Buffalo Sex Change. Isn't that isn't that uh, part of the Velvet Elvises recreated? Uh, yes, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's members from Velvet Elvis and Buffalo. And Sex check out Change. Cantaloupe. They're fucking cool. I like those guys. They're funny. They're Danger Troll? Luke is Danger Oh, okay. I've oh. never seen them. Well, Danger Troll's Good. playing on yeah, the 10th with I, Big Business. I thought <laughs> Buffalo Sex Change was my buddy Phil Pierce. Is he in that band? I don't know him. You guys don't? Let's call them. Call we them need right more now. friends in the scene to, to, to come correct us on is bullshit. This Buffalo Sex Change? Who are you? <laughs> um, on, on April 8th, we have Saul Conrad with... The Doorway Talkers, Elefano and M.D. Woods. Elefino. Uh, yeah. Elefino. Uh, right? And that's at the yep. Bug Jar. Am I right? Am I winning? I- You're winning. Yay, winning. <laughs> um, Correcting grammar. That's going to be a good show, though. M.D. Woods is Nick Moore. Um, good, like, kind of country, um, folky stuff. Elefino is Tim yes. Braley's project. S- somebody gave me their EP for no for no reason. M.D. Woods? And, yeah. I'm really grateful for it. Yeah, him. I think I have their EP too. I'm not sure if he I mean, gave they're it spreading to me love. Or... That's the reason. I mean, if if I get if I get an album from somebody that isn't in a band, that that means that there's something good going on. It's already gone through the filter of one person figuring out whether or not it's bullshit. Yeah, when was the last time that happened to me? I uh wait no, I bought your album out of the trunk of your car, so I yeah, don't know I'm yet. in a band though, so that doesn't count. Yeah, I, I bought I bought an album you did off of a pool table once too. Yeah, um, but you bought it off someone who was in a band. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about getting an album from someone who's not in a band. Not in a band. Well, I don't know if you were in a band. Oh wait, I, Aaron's giving me one, so she's not in a band. Yeah. All right, all right. Probably. So more scheduling stuff. We got to get to. Um, what what is this? Uh, the cages with Drews across the 
And, is that the Junta. Cortez? Yeah, and the yeah. Cortez. Bug jar. Um, another Bug Jar show. Um, on the 11th, we have Screaming Females with Green with Dreams. Green Dreams. Uh, I can't even say it. P-L-E-I-S-T-O-C-E-N-E. Place to scene? Place to scene? Should I know that? Am I a dick for not knowing that? <laughs> yeah. uh, place to scene? <laughs> okay. Well, you were just, you were going to spell out the whole name. Yeah, it's fucking A. <laughs> For those of you that, I mean, honestly, if you're going to Google them, you need to know how to spell that shit. Because Plasticine, does it, is that a self explanatory thing? Placed, placed. Now you got me. Yeah, fucking yeah. It up. See? Fuck Please you guys. Placed, placed. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Um, is that Plasticine? Th- yes, that sounds correct. Plasticine. Oh, okay. Man, I just can't read. But yeah, Screaming Females, Green I should go to that show. Those guys, they do like the punk Green garage. Dreams, yeah. Yeah, I... Damn it, I'm too busy partying no with comment. all the other punk kids to go see the good music. Damn it, I just gotta fucking... Um, on the 12th, Bridge Under Fire, Glenwood, Every Town, and Robbie Stillwell. All these are at the Bug Jar shows. Other venues, post all of your shows online and we will announce them. You can find Rome on Facebook at Rome Rock. Should we do like announcements about? We'll be on the internet in like a couple weeks with some real big internet Yes, we stuff. have announcements coming soon from us, so stay tuned. Find us on the Facebook. Nah, I'll come to you. Just I'm the asshole posting all over your wall saying, hey, click on this and press the like button so I can spam on that bullshit. <laughs> I'll come, just friend me or some shit like that. Look up Baja. Um, Spelled with a J, like the peninsula. Um. (laughs) All right. Well, I think that's about all the time that we have. We haven't even got, holy shit, you have to go see all these shows. (laughs) Televisionaries are playing. (laughs) Made Violin is playing. Embers is playing. The demos. Gosh, I... uh, Odds and be- I'm just reading off band names. And There's so many bands <laughs> is, to see. We will post. Uh, we, we will post some shows for you to go to uh, I mean, that we sh- did not mention. We'll post some shows. You can also check out all the venues' websites, of course. Um, if you wanna, if you're looking for a show, you can always show up four out of the five nights at Brew House. There's always music. Or bug jar almost every you night of the week. You show up and play, too. I don't this. Just get up off your ass. Go see some <laughs> random band and make a friend. I don't care When's, if you like uh, the music or not. When are you playing out again, Dusty? Uh, I got the, the North Coast Punk Show. Nice. On uh, May 16th. May 16th. And that is at... That's the Brew House. Brew House. And, um, man, it really does have every punk band that matters in town. You're playing, right? So everybody should be there. Except for the teenagers, which is odd. Everybody what happened? Should be there. Um, I think I think we're like on tour. I think that. Come on. Going. No, I think we're. I seriously think Get we're on tour. Get out of town. <laughs> no, we're gonna be on tour in May, and I'm pretty sure that it cuts right in the middle of it or some shit like that. Uh, well, okay. Well, we'll miss you. I I miss you guys too. Like I want to be there. I love all you guys. Um, hell, if I'm close enough, I can just come back to Rochester for a day. Well, I mean, I'm playing so. No one will be there, so don't even worry about it. Dusty, I, I think I think you, you've... Well, how many people do you drive away from shows? Is there a count between people you bring into shows versus drive away to shows? I, I, don't, I hope I don't drive anybody away. Uh, I don't know. Every Dusty show that I've been to has been pretty full house. So. Yeah, that is pretty true. <laughs> I don't know who these people that aren't showing up, but they should well, definitely I mean, start going. If I'm driving people away, that means they know who I am. So, I mean... It's no. a 50-50 at that point. <laughs> People um, are going to like, who are you? Okay, I like you or I don't. They're just going to make that decision. Go listen to Anchorage, Nebraska and make up your mind for yourself. Um, they're on the internet. Where where can we find Anchorage, Nebraska? Only one place. On the internet. All right. <laughs> I, 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 I'll dub somebody. I'll boot uh, like go a Go to Bandcamp and search, and I'm yeah, sure I mean, you'll find it. It's like one of those things. <laughs> it's pretty easy to find. It. There's a Facebook. There's a Bandcamp. There's Is there a, actually a, a city in Nebraska named Anchorage? No, that it only exists when we're playing and when we're, you're listening to us. Does Anchorage, Nebraska exist? Well, th- there's a band from Nebraska named Rochester. Well, um, that, that's cool. I'd like to tour with them. <laughs> um, they broke up in like the mid 2000s. Um, but w- would you be offended if, if you know, 
I don't know if Anchorage, Nebraska is going to live any uh, live forever, but if they do, um, could I go on tour with you as Halifax, Nova Scotia? Hold on. That's a very good point. Uh, there's been a topic, how long will Anchorage, Nebraska last? Are they just... And yeah. um, I want you to know that we changed the name of the album recently. And this is, I'll tell you the name of the album. It hasn't been announced yet, so here it is. The name of the new Anchorage, Nebraska album is Forever Infinity Symbol Times a Thousand Times Infinity. <laughs> so if you want to know how long we're going to be together, that might answer. That. If, All right. if that's not the name of your album, I'm going to be so be. disappointed. It better that's, be the that's, name of the that's, album. That's, that's, that's a that's brilliant the, album name. That's the actual name of the album. Like, I, are you sure Coheed didn't uh, fucking... <laughs> That I might, said the, I like, said Harmonica the, Lewinsky might be on that shit, too. I said to Phil the other day, I was like, Phil, I, I changed the name of the album. He's like, well, what is it? I was like, well, are you ready for this? <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I said, and he was like, whoa. <laughs> and he was not ready for it. <laughs> so, say this for me one more time. Everybody, in the next few months, we're going to check out Anchorage, Nebraska's new LP uh, named Forever Infinity symbol times a thousand times infinity. So forever sideways eight <laughs> times infinity times a thousand. Do you have to say eight. sideways eight? I I'm a sideways eight guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Dusty. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank letting you. you know what you got going on. It was really rad. Um, thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely. You Any, anything anything work. else, Baja? Um, I mean, I guess we'll tell. Everybody, the show schedule when we release our website. Oh, <laughs> by the way, Rochester. Um, You know how when you go on the internet and go like, man, what bands are in Rochester? What do I do? Just type Rochester bands into the Facebook thing? That doesn't work. Maybe if I just go on Bandcamp. No, you just can't. You can't fucking find all the Rochester bands on one list. And, you know, as a band, you can't find all the venues on one list. And you can't find a consistent schedule for every show on one list. Oh, I got to look at all the sites. That's great if you could just I'm go waiting. to one website. I'm waiting and, for the segue. No, I'm not even going to segue. I'm just going to say, <laughs> isn't it a bitch that we don't have that? Wouldn't there be a, a cool, wouldn't it be cool if there was a website you could go to, find all the shows, book time with any engineer in the city, Look up calendars for different venues. Network with each other. Yeah. In the background, I have tons of papers, and I can't find anything. Yeah. That, that's exactly. Have you never been able to find a venue? <laughs> we mean papers everywhere. And I'm frustrated. If there was no! one list. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that <laughs> yeah, the saran, there's saran wrap everywhere, there's duct tape. It's so hard finding a venue. <laughs> Light bulbs are crashing. Um, so for those of you that really want that, well, it sucks to be you. Maybe, maybe if, if, if. If I get my shit together, I'll tell you guys about some cool, something cool. But not this week. Stay tuned. Not this week. All Fuck right, you guys. guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We are the Rochester Organization of Artists and Musicians. Have a great rest of your month. Love and peace year. and chicken grease. I don't know. I said year. We're making another one. Grunge. Yeah. Grunge. Grunge. What?